guys, in this video, I'm going to be taking you through why I would choose data analysis as a career all over again and what would I do if I had to start over, what mistakes would I not make, how would I, you know, learn it and do much better at it. So, this video is brought to you by Odin School. So, before we go ahead, please subscribe to our channel Odin School. And if you haven't seen my earlier videos, I would recommend going to our channel Odin School, checking out the other videos. They'll be really helpful. We focus mainly on bringing you videos that can help you upskill yourself or stay ahead in these tough times so that your job is more safe and secure. So please do subscribe to our channel Odin School and join us in our motto of creating awareness in the community Stay skills, stay ahead. So I'm Natika Bajwa and um, I have done a couple of videos before. You can definitely check them out. I have been a data analyst for four years at Amazon and now I'm currently a product manager. Um, so in this video, I'm going to be taking you through how I learned how to become a data analyst, what mistakes I made and what I understood that working at big companies, what the stakeholders expect and how to not make the common mistakes. So that's mainly what I'm going to be taking you through. What mistakes not to make. So if you do watch this video till the end, you will get a thorough understanding of what a data analyst does, what you need to learn firstly, what to focus on and a lot of other insights. So I would recommend staying till the end of the video and please do like our channel. And please do subscribe to our channel. So starting with the first thing, um, coming to why I chose data analysis as a career. So when I first joined tech, I found data analysis to be very interesting. You always had something new to learn and things like that. But I did make a couple of mistakes. So first I'm going to be taking you through the couple of mistakes that you guys should not be making or the things to keep in mind when you start your career as a data analyst. Um, so my point number one would be the importance of visualization. I cannot stress on this enough. Do focus on visualization. You should know which graph works best with what data, what plot to use for what, when a heat map should be used, when should a pie chart be used. You need to know all of those very well because if you want to represent your data in the way that you see and you want to provide those insights it's really important so that would definitely be point number one um, excel does show you a couple of visualizations however i don't find them very useful because they don't go into like too many variations so i tend to prefer tableau i have done a video on you know tableau so i would recommend checking it out if you've never used tableau because knowing those Tableau basics will really push your visualization game to the next level because Tableau gives you a variety of tools and options to represent your data, the dashboards, the stories. You can literally tell it to your stakeholder as a story. So it's amazing and your stakeholders are bound to be impressed because it is in a format where they don't need to look into the nitty gritty of the data but yet they are able to get all of the insights. So very important to learn your visualization methods definitely um point number two would be um so math again let me first tell you that strong statistical or very complex math is not required for a data analyst that would be something that a data scientist requires so how it goes is you have data analyst skills plus a bunch of other you know a little more in-depth skills and that is what turns you into a data scientist but for a data analyst, you do not require such in-depth skills, uh, especially in terms of statistics. So data analyst, but math would definitely help. So one thing I would say is be strong on your logical conditions where if else, then all of those, you need to know them very well because you'll be able to play around with your data a lot. So go rehearse those, be thorough with those. It's very important. If you would want me to do a video probably taking you through certain important concepts, let me know in the comments and I can definitely help you out with those. So that would definitely be one thing. Don't need to focus on complex math, but knowing your basic formulas and basic math definitely helps. And 
So one place you can practice all of this is Excel. Go to Excel and know all of those formula in depth. So that brings me to my point number three, which is know Excel in depth. I cannot stress on this enough. Like Excel and uh, data analysis is sort of like a combo that go together forever. So know your Excel in depth. That's going to kind of cover point two as well because the more formulas you practice on Excel, it's going to strengthen your basic math and it's going to help you even when you you know want to visualize your data. If your data is already structured thanks to your formula and everything, it makes the visualization much simpler. It cuts down your steps. It helps helps you automate the processes and remove those redundant formulas that you would keep doing again and again. Come on, no one wants to do them. We all want to, you know, automate work and lighten our load, thereby also securing a job. Come on, which stakeholder is not impressed if you have actually automated your process and made work simpler? So Excel is something I would definitely recommend. Fourth point, which is again super important. So I know I keep stressing on all of these points and saying they are super important, but all of these four points are like equally, at least equally important. Fourth one being uh, communication and storytelling. So no matter what a good data analyst you are, if you're not able to communicate the insights to the stakeholders, it's not going to matter honestly because they will not understand your insights. They will not understand the hard work you've put in. And in fact, I feel. So having worked at you know such companies, I've in fact seen so many data analysts not be able to communicate and thereby they lose their strong foothold on their career because they are people who can tell better stories even if they don't get such insights because they're able to communicate the story better, they always move ahead in their career. So do focus on communication and storytelling basically before talking to your stakeholders probably you know. Uh, take yourself through the presentation that itself will give you an idea of how well your storytelling skills are. So these are my four tips on what to focus on as a data analyst again. Um, so coming to why would I choose data analyst? So having spent four years, um, why would I choose this as a career again, especially now during COVID? So um, the main reason being obviously a lot of people are losing their jobs because a lot of jobs aren't COVID proof, especially in food industry, aviation, we all know the statistics, they are not good. People are losing their jobs and people are looking for a career shift. So I think for that uh, reason, data analysis is a job which is quite uh, recession proof. I will tell you about why. So biggest reason being it's wide application, like wide, wide range of application. So nowadays, every government has data on its population. That is what they use to plan the cities. That is what they use to understand the needs of their population, where to put their focus, the funds they get, where do they, you know, kind of direct them, which is the population which needs it more, where to set up schools. So all of this data coming in through probably number of uneducated kids in a area or something can all help the government plan things so much better. And everyone knows that landing a government job is very safe. It sets you up and gives you that security. So especially data analysis in the government would be brilliant. Um, its other applications obviously include text analysis. So, you know, Facebook, Google, all of them use it. Apart from that, so the main thing being like literally now every business uses data analysis. So if a business wants to know who its main target audience is, target customer segment, they use data analysis to identify that. If they want to know what their customers are liking the best among their products, data analysis can help them there. If they want to know where to probably take their business further. So, you know, focusing on basic uh, needs of the society and seeing where common issues are. And if you can build a solution that focuses on that, that gives you like a futuristic solution. You build something based on futuristic trends. So data analysis definitely helps even kind of project your business in which direction it's going. And this business can be anything, whether it is your uh, tech industry, e-commerce, retail, anything. Any industry will need data analysis to know how to proceed further. So therefore, again, huge application, huge need for data analysts. Apart from that, the third biggest thing being uh, healthcare. So 
healthcare has really transformed itself since data science has come in because the kind of analysis they are now able to get through from their patients, the symptoms they are able to aggregate and you know see that what is working, what is not working, it is speeding things up, it is brought in way more insights and do you know the importance that data analysts has played in COVID itself, in finding COVID, you know, kind of COVID security, uh, identifying what medicines are working in vaccinations and in identifying what are the common symptoms. Data analysis has played a huge role in helping us identify what the common COVID symptoms are, what vaccinations are working, how to, what antibodies are good. All of that analysis has become so much easier with data analysis. And apart from that, so you obviously have a couple of other things as well. Like, so data analysis also includes data mining, data scrubbing, things like that, where, you know, you're kind of helping people structure their data and identify what data is required for them to do their analysis. So again, data analysis over there has immense applications. And I'm pretty sure even you guys can see how a data analysis job can be recession proof because of its wide range of applications so that is definitely one of the biggest reasons i'm happy i chose data analysis as a career and i would any day do it again so coming to a few of the other uh, you know reasons why i would choose data analysis again the job by itself is super interesting you are always learning something new you're always getting to deep dive and learn insights and then tell it to people so you're kind of discovering it and um, so for people, you know, who actually like learning and exploring, this is very interesting. Uh, another thing would be the ease of shift. So before COVID as well as during COVID, a lot of my friends from different sectors like healthcare and especially uh, food industry have come to me and asked me, you know, how they can shift their career to tech. And I always guided them and told them that, Data analysis is something that is super easy to start off with. So if you're looking for a change in career, data analysis is definitely going to help you because it's easy to learn, it's insightful and easy to pick up. Does not require a lot of hard work or complex math like data science. And it is a very simple thing for someone who's looking for a shift in career to you know ensure that they have a job that is going to keep them secure. Uh, Another thing being so another one of the perks is the salary. So the average salary of a data analyst who's starting off in US would be around 50 to 70 K per year. That is just the starting salary. And as you keep growing in the corporate ladder, obviously your salaries are going to get much higher. And in India, your average data analyst salary starts from 4 lakh and ranges up to 7 lakh. And again, as you keep growing, your salary will keep growing. So for a starting salary, that is definitely brilliant. So that is definitely one of the other perks. Um, uh, coming to a couple of other perks, smaller ones. Um, one is timing. So in my four years of my data analysis career, since I worked on different regions, North America, Europe, China, I never had fixed timings. I had very flexible timings of 12 to 9. Based on my requirement, I could either come in and do a 10 to 7 or if I had late night calls with stakeholders, I was even, you know, I could do a 2 to 11, however I saw fit. So the timings are super flexible. A lot of people have only realized that working from home is possible now, but in the tech industry, especially as a data analyst, work from home is something that has always been allowed because you just need to do your work irrespective of the location. So work from home is definitely another benefit. And you know what I do get to do in my work from home time? I get to play with my dog. I have a Peter. See this, look at the camera. Go. So yeah, another perk of working as a data analyst, you get to work from home, get more time to spend with your favorite creatures. So a couple of other advance, so a couple of other quick advantages would be, um, as I mentioned, timing. So no need for any specific dress code. Timings are flexible. Salary is good. 
definitely good reasons to you know uh, choose this as a career and as i mentioned if you want a video on how you could start off as a data analyst let me know in the comments and i would love to help and share all of my insights with you guys so thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe to our channel odin school and share it with your friends spread the awareness around that we are trying to in our community stay skilled stay ahead thank you see you in our other videos